day five. It's Monday. Um, so it's actually what day two on the North Coast 500. Proper day two. Yeah. <clears throat> and yesterday was amazing. We saw so many fabulous places. Um, today is a bit slower. Uh, we get to our campsite a bit earlier, so hopefully I'll be able to edit some videos. If the rain lets up, maybe we'll get some footages right on the beach. Maybe we'll be walking in the rain. Um, our first stop today is a castle and a beach, but it's raining, so I don't know how long we'll be out. We'll see. Good morning. Old Keys or Cass Castle. It's a bit windy. It's not going to be over. This is Kees or Kess Harbor. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. When we put it in the navigation, they said Kees Harbor. So, eh, I'd go with that. So we are at Donna Groats. This is the world famous sign. And it's the end of the road. It's the most northerly point in Britain, but it's not really. Um, there's a lighthouse that's slightly more north that hopefully we'll visit if we can figure out how to get there. <laughs> yeah. um, but this is the most northerly point on the road. Um, Orkney and Shetland are just that way. And I think it says, what, eight miles? Not very far. Yeah, Shetland's further out. Uh, Land's End, which is the most southern point, is 874 miles, which isn't very far. I mean, in U.S. terms. No. But well, yes, yeah. that's the whole of Britain. Mm -hmm. That's that's wow. Well, not perfect. Yes, dear. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, it's rainy, but it is Scotland. We're hoping that it lets up a bit because we'd like to go see a castle and a couple brocks, but we'll see. We'll see what the weather does. But this is John and Groats. Oh, and as I was talking to him about, the pole looks brand new. The whole sign looks brand new. Um, it used to have a bunch of stickers and stuff on it, but now there's a board yep. for all the stickers. It's a shame we don't have stickers. 
I'll put our sticker up. No, we don't. Oh, but we don't go. have stickers. No. <laughs> okay. We'll show you around here a bit and then off to our next place. Okay. Okay. So this is where the stickers now go. Instead of around the post. And I wish I had a Travels with V and Steve sticker. Put it right there in the middle. But I don't have stickers. So I'm just going to have to make some stickers up next time we come.
The lighthouse that I mentioned is Duncansby Head Lighthouse, which is just a bit north of Donegroats. It's actually the most northeasterly point in mainland Scotland. It was extremely windy and heavy rains, so I decided to do a voiceover because you wouldn't hear me with all the wind. It was crazy wind. The lighthouse was established in 1924 in the headland here that juts out into the North Sea. From the lighthouse, you can walk along the coast. The Duncansby Head site of special scientific interest includes a four-mile stretch of coast and the Duncansby Stacks, which are prominent sea stacks and home to a lot of seabirds, including puffins, although before you go, if you want to see puffins, I suggest you check what time of the year they're there. They were not there when we were there. And I have to say, this was a pretty miserable walk on this day because it was so windy and so rainy. You couldn't see. The rain was being blown right into your face. And we walked quite a long way to not see puffins, which was disappointing, but I really should have checked first. The walk wouldn't have been bad had the weather been decent, but... Please remember, you're walking through a sheep field, so try not to scare the sheep. Even without the puffins, the scenery is dramatic. As the cliffs go down into the North Sea, it is stunning. Apparently, the time to see them is late spring to early summer, so around May to July. Unfortunately, we were there later because of the pandemic, so we would have seen them originally. So it gives us a really good excuse to go back because puffins are just adorable. This was the first night I did some proper cooking in the camper van. I made a curry. Looks like an ambulance, and is that a helicopter behind yeah. it? 